All right, guys, it's time to hurt some feelings and talk about one of the biggest lies we hear in our society today. A widely discussed topic that we hear about in the workplace and especially in the feminist movement is the gender pay gap. Essentially, the argument they are making is that women are not paid as much as men. Now, on average, women who are working full time make 17% less of what men are paid. And if you actually did a little bit of research, the reasons behind this are completely contradicting. They start by saying the cause of this is because women labor is undervalued with zero data to measure that and then they end it with the main contributor is that women are more likely than men to work in low paying jobs that is the key problem that's not a pay gap most women don't want to work high paying jobs Trigger warning, if you are easily triggered and can't handle hearing facts, opposing views, and an opinion different from your own without getting offended, I advise leaving this video immediately and go watch something more in your field of understanding. And maybe I'm speaking for myself here, but I would argue that now is the best time to be a woman. We have endless opportunities due to all the support groups that women have compared to men, and businesses are trying really hard to be woke right now. I even have a recruiting business on the side where I hire people regularly, and after placing both men and women into their jobs uh, both in the medical and tech space by the way I've learned that women aren't getting paid less they just simply aren't interested in higher paying jobs and no one is preventing them from taking on those opportunities and this leads me to my next point most women work jobs that are in lower paying positions women dominate the healthcare industry education HR marketing and customer service which contains a lot of lower paying positions Teachers don't make much and nurses don't make much. And if you're gonna dominate those types of fields, naturally you're gonna make much less. And that's not hard math. And it's not that those opportunities aren't being presented to women. Businesses are very big on diversity and inclusion right now. And everyone is trying to be woke. So companies are doing what they can to market opportunities to women and minorities. It's no company's fault that most of the applications or most of the applicants end up being the same type of people when women are going to school for the wrong thing. And if you're wondering, education's not a problem either. More women have bachelor's degrees than men. In fact, more women have an associate's, bachelor's, master's, and PhD than men. They simply chose the wrong profession. So we're doing a great job at educating ourselves. We're just not going the right direction. I want to clarify that when I say women are going to school for the wrong thing, I'm not implying that there's a right field to go into. I am implying that a lot of women are choosing to work in lower paying positions and it's making it appear as if there is a gender pay gap and that businesses are choosing to pay women less which is false. While there's nothing wrong with working in the roles that I mentioned, there is a lot wrong with making claims that women's work is undervalued and that they are purposefully being paid less. That is a lie. Women don't ask for raises. 60% of women don't even ask for a raise or negotiate their salary during their entire time in the workforce. So we complain that there's this wage gap and over half of us don't even try to do anything about it. What I don't see the feminist movement doing is empowering women to build their negotiation skills. And it sounds like, sounds like you need to complain less and learn more. What? Oh no, she did not. Women take more time off. With simple research, you'll find that women take a lot more sick time than men do. That's what I have to come home to leading to less pay. You can't expect to make the same amount as a man for the same position and then put in less work. That makes no sense. Um, there's a lot of reasons women take time off like anyone else. We're humans and we need breaks. But from a scientific standpoint, women are more likely to take time off during their periods, especially when we have cramps. So because of this, we end up working less hours than men do. And I've had friends tell me that they took two days off a month just because they were on their period in addition to any vacation time they were gonna take anyway. Women also need maternity leave when they're about to have a baby and lots of time off after the baby's born. And it just so happens that women tend to put in less time. It's just a fact. So very rarely, I will point this out, but there are some small exceptions where a man is given an opportunity when the woman is clearly qualified for the role 
or the company is paying a man more for the same position, but this happens at a very small scale. And honestly, when it does happen, you shouldn't be working for that company anyways. And if you clearly have a valuable skill set that the company doesn't see, move on somewhere else. But it is simply unrealistic to expect the world to change the system for a minor set of people. The last thing I want to say is that women don't generally take on certain types of jobs and that's okay. Equality does not mean equal outcome. It means equal opportunity. And I can't think of any opportunities that are being truly withheld from women right now, but maybe comment something down below if I'm missing something. It simply wouldn't make sense for a single industry or job type to have 50% of women, and we shouldn't strive for 50-50 ratios across all industries for the sake of women wanting to be the same as men. That makes no sense, and there's a reason why certain industries and job titles are male-dominated. It's no one's fault that most of you don't want to become a software engineer, a CEO, or a solar-powered engineer. <laughs> That is okay, and there's nothing wrong with it. Um, but what is wrong is expecting the result of all this hard work that people are putting in, but not willing to put in that work in the first place. We don't need the same things men have just for the sake of it. So really sit down and think about it. I know it was controversial, but I felt like it needed to be said. And if you feel the same way, and if you've been questioning things lately, check out my last video where I talk about the importance of questioning things and how it's a very rare trait that people have because nowadays everybody's triggered, right? So check that out and that'll go in depth and more on why it's important to keep an open mind. I will see you guys next week with another video.